Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to all my new followers. It's a new year, new beginning as they say and that's why I wanted to take you guys along downtown Dallas to a place called Deep Elm where I usually shoot portraits and some street photography. I've been um, yeah mentioning that a lot last year but I've never taken you guys along. I thought that would be fun. Also, I've bought some Kodak Vision 3, which I'm going to load up in my Konica. And it would be fun to kind of review that film. That way I've been excited to try this film out because I want to see how it does under skin tones. Stuff like that. Maybe take a few portraits. Um, yeah, take some photos in general, see how the colors um, hold up. And yeah, a place where I do a lot of my photography lately. And I think it's only fair to you guys that I show what I do when I'm downtown, when I'm taking pictures, what it's all about, what I do there. And I'm very excited to take you guys along. So let's head out downtown. Hey man, yes, sir. mind if I take a street portrait of you? Yes sir. Thank you. Wait a minute. Do it differently. Thank you sir, yes, sir. appreciate it man. Thank All you. Right.
Excuse me, sir. Sir, you mind if I take a street border to you with the um, skateboard? Yeah. Thank you. So just where I stand? Yeah, just be yourself. You ain't got to do nothing special. I got a YouTube channel. That, that, that's great. Hold on. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, the film fellow. The film fellow on uh, YouTube, obviously. Same thing on uh, um, Instagram. It's the underscore film underscore fellow. You'll see your photo up here. This will be in my next video here. Yeah. So is the the underscore. I think. I think. Film underscore that, that's me there. That, that's me, yeah. Alright man, appreciate you. See yeah, you later, sure. have a good yeah. day. Yeah. Appreciate it guys. Excuse me, sir. You mind if I take a portrait of you? You got an amazing look, man. Sure. All right, that's awesome. Yeah, that, that's great. Oh, I love the tattoos. Thank you. Hold on. Camera. <laughs> it's a little older. Thanks, man. Appreciate Thank you. you. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Kodak Vision 3 is amazing. As you can see in the photo of this yeah, young lady, 
It's um, incredibly sharp. There's amazing latitude. It's, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, where's the grain? <laughs> this film rivals Portra in every way. Um, I think I caught a little bit of a cold out there today, but that's all right, guys. Um, it's just an amazing film. It's definitely a film that I'm going to shoot a whole heck of a lot more. I'm definitely considering getting an, um, yeah, you know, bulk loading it, getting a big reel of it, and um, shooting it a whole heck of a lot more. I just love it. The skin tones are amazing, uh, both for people of color and Caucasian people and everything in between. Um, yeah, the sharpness, the price, it's also better. Uh, removing the rain jet layer isn't as hard as, um, yeah, it really isn't hard. You just pre-soak the film, wash it out, and then if there's any left after developing, you can easily rinse that off. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and you're, um, you're all good to go. Beautiful film, um, as expected. The, yeah, you know, as well as anybody else that, um, you can shoot film with your buddy with the exact same camera, with the exact same film in there, and you're developing it at home, scanning it in your scanner, and he's bringing it to a lab, and you get two completely different results. So this film has been developed in the Cinestill C41 kit and scanned with the Epson V500, and I've absolutely done nothing but an auto contrast in Photoshop and a sharpening, that's it. I didn't change, do any color um, correction or anything like that. And yeah, this film is just amazing. The latitude, the sharpness, um, its color palette, um, absolutely beautiful film. This film pops. I'm going to shoot it a whole heck of a lot more. I wanted to start shooting black and white and I was so afraid that, oh man, I'm going to shoot this film because it's the first time that I'm shooting it and it's going to um, keep me shooting color and I think that is what's going to happen. Yeah, just a beautiful film. If you can, pick up a roll. Um, I bought a roll at the Film Photography Project and yeah, that seems to be available. They, um, of course, they re-spool it. This was a 24 shot roll, which I kind of like. Um, you don't have to worry about, oh man, I got to do 36 shots. And yeah, beautiful film, guys. Guys, I wish you all the best wishes for 2022. May it be a wonderful year. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next episode.